Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hook. So today we are going to be learning how to do a crochet half circle. I'm so excited about the half circle. You can use it for rugs, you can use it for blankets, you can use it for garment making. There's a ton of different things that you can use these for and I cannot wait to show you how to do them. I personally love to use these for rugs right in front of my sink or at the front door. They're just really pretty and fun ways to use up all different kinds of yarn. So I'm gonna be using a five millimeter hook and some worsted weight yarn, but if you wanna grab Grab whatever yarn you want and the corresponding hook will get started here in just a second. Hi friends, real quick, if you guys want to join the coolest crochet community on the internet and join over 20,000 members that love yarn just as much as you do, click the link in the description below and I cannot wait to see you in our community. All right, so like I said, today we are learning how to make a crocheted half circle. I absolutely love these little guys. They're super cute and really fun to make. Um, so all we're gonna need today is just a worsted weight yarn. I'm using the Red Heart Super Saver and this is in tea leaf. We've been using this one a lot for different tutorials. And then I've got my um, five millimeter crochet hook here and then just some scissors. So all we're gonna do for this is we're gonna make a magic um, circle or a magic ring. So in, I have a video on that but I'll show you how to do it here too. So you're gonna take the tail of your yarn over here and you're going to wrap it around your fingers. So you'll have two loops on the inside of your fingers here. You're gonna take your crochet hook and you're going to grab that underside and pull it over. And then hold on to your yarn so you don't lose it. And then you'll just chain two in that magic circle. You'll chain two up. And then we're gonna put six double crochets in that circle. And I'll also have a link in the description below that has more information and the video for the magic circle for you guys, just in case that was a little too fast for you, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five and six and then we're gonna take the tail and we're gonna pull it but we're not gonna pull it super duper tight we're just gonna pull it a little bit and so it'll kind of look like this so now we're gonna chain two and we're gonna put one double crochet in the first stitch, so this will count as two. So the chain two and the first one, so it's one, two. And then we're gonna put two double crochets in each stitch, so we'll have 12 total. Including that chain two from the beginning. And it's very similar to making a full size circle. We're just only doing half of it and turning it at the end of each row. All right, so we've got our last double crochet in there. We're gonna chain two. And we're gonna pull this just a smidge tighter now. And we're gonna flip it over. And then in the first one, we'll do a double crochet. So there's two double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets and then one. So all you have to do with this is you're just increasing. So say you wanted to make a bigger half circle, as long as it is an even number in the starting row, it doesn't matter, it just has to be an even number. So if you need a bigger half circle, you can start it out bigger if you want to. Um, so it's just two, one, two, one, and you just keep doing that increase on this row. So we'll do two here, and then one. And then two here, and then one. And you just keep doing that until you get to the end. 
So we'll do two, one, two. And you have that row done. So now we'll chain two and we'll start it again. So we'll do one double crochet in the first stitch and then we're increasing here. So every round or row you're gonna increase. So now we'll do two, so one single crochet here, or double crochet here, and then one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two, and then double crochet in this stitch, a single double crochet in this stitch, and then two double crochets in the next one. A single double crochet, a single double crochet, and two double crochets in the next. Single double crochet, a single double crochet, and two double crochets. Single, single, double and there you go so you're just you would just keep doing that as big as you want to make it I'm gonna end mine here but if you wanted to do another row you would do two double crochets and then you'd go single double single single and then two so you'd increase it just like you would anything else and then you get this cute little half circle and I mean, they'll, it'll block to be a little bit straighter for you if you need it to. It's always going to be a little crunched up when it's been in your hand. But they're super fun. They're super easy. They're really quick. I like using these for a lot of different things. I have this like flat up against where my books are and I put my cup on it. So it'll stay flat here. And then it's like a little half coaster. Um, I wouldn't use the acrylic. I'd make it with cotton. But... Yeah, so that is how you make a half circle crochet. Um, and then a little tip for you guys, if you guys do need to slow these videos down, at the bottom of the player, there is a little button that lets you slow it down um, to half speed or three quarter speed or whatever is easier for you guys. And this is for all of the videos. It's also available for that too, as well as closed captions. So if you ever have any questions or need any help, and you need that video slowed down a little bit, you can definitely do that straight from your player. You can do it on your phone and on the desktop as well. Um, I do know that I crochet pretty fast. It's been pointed out to me a few times. I try to slow it down. It's just very hard for my hands to do that. Um, but you can slow the videos down. So if you need any help with how to make a crocheted half circle, please let me know. Leave a comment below. I'd love to see um, any questions or any thoughts on these or what you like to use them for. Um, and yeah, don't forget the, I'll have the description or in the description below the video for a magic circle if mine was a little bit too fast here. And then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.